Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at Shiseido Zen Perfume. This is a very special um, unboxing. I've had this bottle of perfume for over uh, 10 years. It's still uh, in a box completely sealed up. I actually got it as a Christmas gift and I just have never gone around to unopening it. If you're new to my channel, what I suggest you do is check out the playlist. I have a whole bunch of different videos on seasonal things like Christmas, Halloween. I also have videos on uh, foodie items, makeup, electronics, and of course, uh, this is going to be the first one on fragrance. I'm going to show you the front of the box and then the back. It takes a while sometimes to get used to a fragrance, so please uh, watch out for part two of this uh, video series on Shiseido Sen Perfume. There's 50 milliliters. It's made in Japan. And the story to the Zen Perfume, they made their first Zen Perfume in 1964. And then in uh, 2000, they came out with this Zen Perfume. The original Zen Perfume was in a black bottle. And the Zen Perfume in 2000 is in a white bottle. And that's what's inside this box. In 2007, they came out with a third version of Zen, which is... Um, shaped like a um, Japanese uh, tea house. If you have um, any of this and perfumes, please comment down below and uh, let everyone know what you think of them. I'll just tell you some of the notes for this perfume. The top note is just going to double check here. It's bergamot. The middle notes are iris, violet, oak moss, and rose. And the base notes are patchouli, musk, pure wood, and also bamboo. The other thing about this uh, Zen perfume, if you look closely at the box, the main ingredient is going to be alcohol. There, I'm just going to show it a little bit closer to the camera. So without further ado, uh, let's just get this box open and uh, let's take a look at the bottle. Before I forget, I just want to show you the sides. So it says read um, insertion and also uh, avoid contact with the eyes. If, if contact occurs, rinse thoroughly with water. And then here is the back. A soul enlightened, a world renewed. A luminous bouquet of transparent, fresh budding flower, florals spiritualized by the peaceful influence of rare eastern moss, bamboo, and Kyara wood. Hope I pronounced that correctly. A warm and loping fragrance that inspires meditation, enhancing serenity in life, and transforming the world with new accord. Wow, that's almost like a little poem there. It's written in some different languages. And here's the bottom of the box, and then I'll just show you the top. Comment down below and uh, let everybody know what kind of um perfumes that you're into and if you uh, still have b balls of perfume in sealed boxes wow I can't believe I'm going to actually open up a box that's been sealed for over 10 years and I'm going to smell perfume that I've never ever tried before I might actually have to stop the video because I think I might have to get a uh, another pair of scissors to open up the plastic. I've actually kept this bottle in the refrigerator. Then I've also kept it in warm places as well. So let's see what the condition of the perfume is going to be like. Okay, managed to break off the seal. If you go throughout my channel, I always try to show uh, different products and I think this is very special because I doubt that I'll ever be in a situation where I'm opening up some fragrance that's been sealed for so long. So I am super excited about this. I just want to be careful so I don't damage the, damage the box. Hmm. Let me can see if I can pry this open. Hmm. 
Is it? Here we go. Okay. And that's the top of the box. Printed on recycled paper. See, I'm just going to put it that way so you can see it a little bit better in the lighting. And here's the bottle. And how much is still left in there? You know what? It looks like there's still quite a bit left. It looks like none of it's evaporated. This is cool. And here's the insert. And some more information. I'm just gonna put this up so we can see it a little bit better. But let's just get into uh, this bottle. I can actually smell some of it already. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Let's see if I can snap off the, the cap. Okay. I might have to pause the video to see if I can get this cap off. Whoops. Okay, I thought it was going to be stuck. And I was going to have to take a, a knife to try to open up the lid. There we go. So the bottle is a very unusual shape. Uh, it feels like glass. And that's the bottom of the bottle. So I keep on saying that it was over uh, 10 years old. I think it is. I think... And let's just spray this for the very first time. Has a pretty good uh, spray uh, spray on it. I'm just gonna bring this up closer so you can see the, the top of the bottle. So it's um, drying on my, my arm right now, and I think I'm just going to lift up the camera so you can see that better. Wow, so the scent to me um, is going to take a while to get used to. It seems a little bit pow powdery, but it's not... Um, over overwhelm, overwhelmingly like sweet or a flowery. Um, it's definitely sort of like a daytime fragrance to me. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, wear it for a couple of days and then I'll do a uh, part two to this uh, video like I just mentioned before. Thank you so much for, for watching my video and have a wonderful day.